Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening. Waalaikumsalam. Hey guys, are you ready? I have a meeting at 3 p.m. So we need to go faster. At least I have one hour to uh, lecture of, about the chapter 4, part 2. Are you ready? If you are ready, uh, can we start for part 2? Yes, Doctor. And I hope you uh, remember about the uh, last week, chapter 4, part 1, uh, we have uh, gone through uh, about the uh, types of energy audit and um, uh, the process for the energy audit. Uh, I start, start from, uh, you know, uh, meeting, the key off meeting and uh, the, the, the process, okay, the methodology for the energy audit and we have also covered about the run data survey at least uh, run data survey uh, which is the information that we need to uh, take uh, uh, during the uh, process of energy audit in order to elevate the status of the uh, room okay when we got the uh, information from the room data survey for example uh, we got the temperature, we got the CO2 emission inside the room, and also we got the at least lighting system information. Uh, for example, the types of lamp, and also uh, for the last level, uh, the last level, and we refer to the standard. Uh, we compare to the standard. The last level compared to standard, and then we come up with the uh, suggestion either that what that a uh, room is. Uh, follow the standard or not, or if there is the uh, some uh, improvement need to be done, and we suggest inside the audit report later on. So for this chapter four part two, uh, inshallah we cover about the um, about what uh, a little bit introduction, uh, the basic for the uh, cooling system audit. Uh. So at least we uh, we cover for commercial building because commercial building we have a lot of commercial building in Malaysia. So if you are um, one of the engineer, okay, um, uh, join the that that join the maintenance teams or uh, doing the uh, development for the new building. Uh, for example, at least you get the idea on how we can uh, do uh, some kind of audit uh, to to, uh, to know the performance for the cooling system because in Malaysia okay um, we know that uh, most of the building uh, uh, especially for the commercial building they have been installed by cooling system uh, uh, many types of the cooling system uh, inshallah I will uh, brief you uh, or, or for this introduction we're going to learn about the uh, cooling system and how to do the audit for the cooling system. Okay, so this slide shows um, basic uh, the content for the uh, basic introduction for economic system type, uh, refrigeration system performance, audit method on the desktop site assessment and losses and saving measures. Okay. So we have uh, um, for the energy audit uh, during the audit process for uh, for example in a commercial building okay commercial building so they uh, normally they are uh, divided into two uh, big or two um, different uh, uh, departments or division uh, electrical and mechanical so this one um, Air, condition, air conditioning system normally is under mechanical uh, guys, okay? But as the electrical engineer, uh, uh, as the system is integrated between each other, so we need to know uh, at least a little bit about the uh, mechanical system and majority of the mechanical system 
that use okay that use um, high uh, electricity consumption uh, is aircon uh, aircon so um, uh, regarding to the research or the experience of findings uh, the the last finding that we have uh, in UTEM, especially in in for the university uh, the e air conditioning system um, covers about 60 uh, 50 to 65 percent and i think uh, these numbers okay this uh, percentage also goes to the other commercial building huh? uh, for example shopping complex hospital uh, what else educational institute other others and also uh, for the hotel you know um, uh, these types of building uh, will uh, play uh, the uh, what call is the uh, to to influence the consumption of the air conditioning system okay so we have many types of the air conditioning system so we will go through one by one at least you can know uh, what types of the aircon and how we can uh, perform the energy audit for this uh, air conditioning system so why and um, this topic will answer why we need to take uh, the information also about the CO2 emission, about the temperature and also humidity uh, during the room data survey process. Okay, uh, various application of ecological system I mentioned. So uh, this is another um, types of buildings, uh, luxury apartments, commercial complex, infotech parks, pharma industry, telecom industry, and many more. Okay, uh, so uh, we also know that uh, during the first chapter, uh, did you remember that the number, the value? or the uh, energy consumption by commercial building is number two in Malaysia. Okay? Number one is industry. The high uh, consumption goes to the industry and number two is commercial consumer. So these are the, uh, what we call it, the sector that, that uh, contribute to uh, use the electricity in Malaysia, especially under the commercial building. Okay, cooling capacity is the most important uh, features of the air system. So, for the most aircon um, are rated by ton, eh? ton, one ton equal to 12,000 12, BTU per hour. So, to cooling capacity, Needed depends on factor like, okay, uh, those um, that has been uh, presented here is the uh, factor, other factor that uh, contributes to the uh, numbers, uh, that, uh, to determine the numbers of cooling capacity. So size of the room, okay, so uh, the size of the room, the different size of the room, will pray will uh, contribute to the uh, different size of the aircon cooling capacity or we call it that cooling capacity the capacity that we need to supply the uh, air cool huh? air cool average ambient temperature so we need to have the idea why we collect the uh, ambient or we, we we need to have the rh as huh? uh, it because uh, the uh, the high temperature of the air outside a building high is the cooling capacity number. so we need to have the uh, value or to take the ambient temperature outside the building at least we can get the idea on how we can uh, put uh, the uh, the standard design for the cooling capacity of the air conditioning system. Number of people. So if you want to install your um, uh, air conditioning system or AC, AC yeah, air con system in your home later on, please consider size of the room, average ambient temperature, 
uh, this one you can uh, you can you can uh, neglect that that one but uh, for the number three number of people you need to consider number of people so inside your room uh, for example you have uh, your in the master bedroom you say that okay only two people okay only two people and then uh, with the size of the room and the number of people that you get okay not more than two Okay, never mind. So uh, by the by calculating the cooling capacity, and we you will buy a appropriate air conditioning system later on. Exposure direct expose of any wall of the room to the sun lead to high requirement in cooling capacity. So you need to ensure that okay uh, the exposure the exposure to the sun to the sun so if your uh, room okay uh, face the uh, sunrise okay you need to consider uh, uh, okay this room will have the high temperature later on because of the effect from the uh, sun uh, will lead to the high high requirement of the cooling capacity so um, this one is i think during the uh, during designing the uh, home uh, uh, so contractor should consider this one so how to uh, avoid uh, facing the uh, sun okay uh, it's important especially to the uh, room master bedroom and other uh, other bedrooms uh, okay exposure so direct exposure exposure okay uh, please consider this one if you want to buy uh, an icon for the room Proximity of room to kitchen. If the room is close to the kitchen and the cooling capacity needed will be high due to high temperature of the kitchen. Of course, eh? uh, if, you, if, if your um, room next after kitchen, so what happened? Uh, okay, of course, the temperature uh, inside the room we also get higher because of the effect from the kitchen. Eh? So cooling capacity need to be uh, upgrade or you need to have uh, what we call it uh, another uh, value of the cooling capacity uh, in order to install the aircon system so what else we also uh, we we only have five lah, at least five lah, at least five but the number of people size of the room is the uh, normal item that we use uh, during the uh, consideration to buy or to sizing the uh, aircon or cooling capacity. We call it as cooling capacity. What is a ton of refrigeration or refrigerant ton? We call it refrigerant ton as well. So it's the amount of heat to be extracted from the atmosphere for melting one metric ton of ice in 24 hours. Okay, that, that is the definition for ton of refrigeration. For example, one uh, uh, refrigerant ton equal to 12,000 BTU, okay, or 3,025 kcal, or 3.517 kilowatt, 3.517 kilowatt. So one refrigerant ton equal to 3.517. So remember is one. Uh, so on how to convert the refrigerant ton, the cooling capacity uh, from one refrigerant ton to the power consumption, and right? you need to have this number 3.517. For example, here room size square feet uh, up to 90 square feet. Tan capacity 0 0.8 tan capacity. So if you have 3.57, for example, uh, 0 0.8 tan, okay, convert on how to convert to HP. So because in in in, in uh, shop, uh, in the shop they uh, sell the aircon in HP. You know, okay. Uh, I hope uh, you understand about this one. So from here, you need to convert to HP. So you can get the uh, proper size for the aircon for your uh, room size.
simple ASIC calculation on how we can uh, convert it to uh, HP. How many HP that required, uh, that, that this room required. For example here, okay, rule of thumb to calculate uh, step one, find the volume of your room in cubic. Okay, this is done by measuring the length, uh, width and height of the area in feet and multiply all the three dimensions together so to get the volume. Okay, once you get the volume, step number two, to multiply this area with six. Six is the number of constant, uh, C1. And after that, uh, you need to come up with a C2. So number of people inside the room that we, uh, the, the occupied person, uh, uh, this room, for example, you got three or four or five, okay, put the number, get the C2. So you need to uh, get some, okay, um, total from C1 and C2 to get the uh, numbers in BTU. So one BTU, you need to convert to HP uh, by using the uh, standard. So one BTU equal to 0 0.003930, okay, this number HP. So if you get, uh, for example, two BTU, okay, to get the HP, multiply with this number. So the other factor that uh, you need to consider size of the cooling capacity include the direction of the building. Okay, facing east or or, or uh, east or west, additional capacity is needed as it will expose to the morning evening sun. Compared, you mentioned about this one. Huh? So uh, please monitor or, or uh, consider this one. Even uh, the sunrise. Okay, the the position. So you need to understand uh, what kind of condition or environment that you have for your room. If the lighting of the room emits a lot of heat, additional capacity is needed. Yeah, that's true. Okay. If your uh, room, for example, the large level. So uh, this is one of the reason why we need to uh, determine the large level or measure the large level during the auditing process because one of thing that uh, contribute to the uh, heat, uh, the heat process is from the uh, lighting. So if you use more lighting or your uh, last, or your luminance is more than standard, okay, it's higher than standard, higher than standard, and it will produce heat. So this ecosystem with the standard capacity, cooling capacity, uh, doesn't have ability to supply the uh, enough um, cooling uh, to the load so that it will increase the temperature inside the room. Okay, that's why you will feel like okay, very hot inside the room because of uh, this one is the one of the factor. If electrical appliance that generate heat is used, so additional capacity has to be factored. Okay. For example, over okay, um, freezer, okay, that one is uh, generate heat, huh? generate heat inside the room and you need to consider to add the uh, other factor to consider for the cooling capacity. The types of materials of the room wall window are also important consideration. The type of wall room windows are also important uh, to consider. So uh, please ensure that your window is, is a very close window uh, uh, without any gaps uh, that, that uh, the cool air will uh, go to outside. So that, that is important so that if you can control all these elements and you will get the proper size for the icon. Any question? No question. Okay, so basic, what is refrigeration? 
refrigeration is the process of removing heat from an enclosed space or from the substance. Okay, you can um, refer to this one. This one is the chiller. Okay, based on the amount, uh, based on the uh, cooling. This one, and we have compressor here. Okay, compressor. To compress the uh, air from the low pressure gas. Okay, so uh, look at this uh, picture. We have uh, two kind of um, separated um, system over here. One is ever evaporator. Okay, evaporator. This one is evaporator, and the other one is condenser. Condenser. This one condenser. Okay. So we have also two different kind of colors for the piping. One for the uh, receiving or from the cooling tower, and one to supply to the ASU to the building. Okay. So from here, we got low pressure cool gas. We have compressor, compressor here to high pressure of hot gas eh, to condenser. So this one is a condenser. This one to supply lah, to supply and condenser from the um, from the cooling cooling system. Heat loss reject to the environment. Okay, so heat pressure go to expansion valve and back to the evaporator. The system start something like here. Okay, from the heat absorb remove from the cool product evaporator get the low pressure cool gases. Huh? Throughout the compressor, we get the high pressure of gas. Okay, so this one is the process on how this refrigerant, the primary purpose of the, the refrigeration is lowering the temperature of the enclosed space and substance and then maintaining the lower temperature. The process is simple from liquid, liquid, uh, vapor, and li liquid vapor. So, liquid vapor, vapor, and also for the liquid. Okay, the process from one saturate, saturated vapor to the superheated vapor. Okay, back to uh, go to the liquid vapor. This one is the mixed one uh, from vapor converted to liquid in a condenser. And then after that, go to number four, saturated liquid. So this one, liquid flash into liquid plus vapor across expansion valve. And just now, you know, uh, refer to the expansion valve. And then lastly, liquid vapor converted to vapor uh, in evaporator. Okay, so that's the uh, correlation or the relationship between the condenser and evaporator. And the process is simple, or the purpose of the process is, is to maintain the temperature of the water. If the water cool types of the refrigeration, refrigeration, and then it will maintain the temperature for the a cool side or a, um, a water cool side. Okay, you can uh, read by your own for the detailed process uh, that uh, has been uh, written here. The process is uh, like your um, your freezer, uh, your freezer at your uh, home. You can see the process, the same process on how they can maintain the. Uh, temperature of the air or even from of the water. If the uh, chiller system, water-based chiller system, and it will maintain the water, chill water temperature to supply the chill water uh, uh, with the certain uh, value of the temperature, for example, um, seven uh, degrees Celsius between seven to nine degrees Celsius. So 
the uh, the refrigeration cycle from this process uh, it will set to maintain the uh, temperature uh, the water cool types of aircon chill water temperature will maintain about seven to nine so this is uh, the process how um, a chiller will maintain the uh, temperature of the uh, water Okay, let's move to the next slide, which is the basic of air conditioning system, the types of AC, yeah, HVAC, room air. So this one is um, room air conditioning. Okay, room, we have split unit, uh, split unit. So this one is the um, split unit one, okay. This one, all type of aircon, and currently we got this split unit. Okay, comprised of two parts outdoor unit and indoor unit. So, uh, basically, the outdoor unit uh, fitted outside the room houses or component like the compressor, condenser, and expansion valve. So, this one. And I believe that um, you always see uh, this aircon type, right? Split unit, the split unit one. Okay. So for this unit, you are, don't have to make any slot in the wall of the room. So uh, for the, the present day split unit have uh, their uh, kind of the beauty pattern. Uh, something like here. Uh, you can have many more kind of design uh, in market right now. You can see... Um, better uh, design compared to the conventional one okay um, then uh, this uh, split unit also uh, offer with many types of uh, technology yeah? right now we have uh, inverter so uh, with uh, with the um, improving uh, of the uh, gases uh, uh, from the r22 to r32 so that one will also reduce the consumption of electricity. And for example, for the normal types, they um, has um, their package uh, that, that will uh, follow the standard uh, process or the standard system for the aircon. For example, if you set your aircon, why we need to set 24? Okay, for split unit, uh, uh, in my experience, uh, for my home, I set uh, the temperature uh, 26 to 28. Okay, normally people set 16, right? <laughs> but for my uh, house, I uh, will always set this 26 to 28. Okay, especially for my uh, children uh, bedroom. So I set this one uh, 26 to 28, uh, depending on the weather. So if the um, rainy day, I will set 28. Or even uh, right now, they, uh, they are um, comfort with 28, okay? Uh, but please make sure your air conditioning system running very well uh, with, with the uh, good condition. 28 degree, set auto, okay, set auto auto make sure auto because uh, if you set uh, with the fan uh, uh, at least three fan three fan the the compressor will always run uh, without consider uh, the temperature if you set auto okay this um, uh, sensor inside the indoor unit will uh, detect the temperature for example you set 28 and once the room temperature achieve 28 okay the signal we send to the uh, outdoor unit to stop uh, to stop okay so compressor will stop for a while and then after that if the temperature uh, if in, is increased to 29 or even 30 and it will run again to uh, achieve the 28 
So 28 is the set point for the uh, aircon. Set point for the aircon. And if you um, set 24, for example, okay, if the uh, sensor inside the indoor unit detect 24 degree of the temperature, it will stop the compressor for a while. Okay, if the temperature increase again and this compressor will run again to supply the uh, air cool to the room and will maintain the 24 degree temperature. Okay, that's why uh, it is really important to set the air conditioning system to auto for especially for the split unit. Okay, this, this one is the tip, one of the tips to reduce the energy consumption. If you set full run of fan and this compressor will run always for the whole days, for the whole night uh, to, to, to uh, supply the, um, what we call it, uh, to, uh, if you set 24 and the uh, detection will not um, respond to the compressor because you have set the uh, fan to run full in full capacity three or two or one yeah. okay please set auto and this indoor unit will respond to the uh, room temperature any question tak ada tapi memang saya memang saya set macam tu lah tak ada belah belas memang 24 pun uh, biasanya bilik anak 28 lah 29 and then one of uh, thing uh, is to set the timer for example uh, use the uh, I will use the remote uh, to set the timer okay you, you you can set the timer if your room have achieved 24 degree and uh, that one is quite enough to uh, get the um, cool air inside the room and you can uh, shut down the aircon by setting the uh, the auto the, the auto shutdown uh, function uh, on your uh, aircon remote huh? so you will you can set either 3 a.m or 3 a.m 3 pagi 4 pagi you can set huh? so at least you can um, avoid the um, over limit of the uh, aircon consumption and also is we avoid the uh kadang-kadang uh, terlupa nak tutup kan uh, so it will help you to maintain the um, energy efficiency practice uh, inside your uh, house okay rumah saya um, ada i have berapa nine 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 I have nine um, split unit aircon. Ada sembilan aircon rumah saya dua tingkat. Uh, sembilan aircon. So malam uh, usually we run about four. Uh, about four aircon. Malam about four aircon. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah. Uh, dengan aircon and then also fan. Uh, I, I run uh, fan switch on the fan and switch on the aircon simultaneously by aircon I set uh, about 28 lah 28 and set the um, time off time uh, about 4 a.m. or 3 p.m. Huh? 3 to 4 lah uh, depending on my children condition etc so 3 to 4 a.m. okay uh, so my electricity bill monthly um, setakat ni boleh maintain dalam 200 lebih macam tu je <laughs> Saya tak guna inverter types lah, tak guna uh, inverter types. But maintain the, the, the um, uh, I use the 32 uh, gas uh, um, aircon, uh, tapi tak guna inverter. Dulu saya guna inverter, tapi inverter manja sikit. Asyik-asyik rosak je saya guna yang biasa, tapi saya maintain that practice. And I will show you that that one is a really good practice, you know, uh, to reduce the consumption and uh, you will also we uh, be um, 
extend can extend the uh, lifespan of the exam as well. Ada soalan tadi. Berapa average base sebulan tu? <laughs> okay, dua tu lebih je base mata saya. Ah, sembilan tu ekon kadang yang running uh, kita ada tempat yang kita buka masa sekejap sekejap. Tapi malam tu memang full operate empat lah. Okay, so make sure uh, you do a good practice uh, for energy efficiency. You you get the uh, very cool, you know, very pretty cool uh, process. You we get a, a saving. Uh, the proper practice of uh, energy efficiency will give you a pretty good uh, effect or cost saving uh, actually. Package unit, okay. This one package unit. Uh, normally, they install uh, this package unit uh, in uh, office, hotel banyak ini, okay. Hotel, so um, people can control their room uh, separately. The, the the cool cooling system will be controlled by uh, people separately for their office and also for their room. And a very famous one, the centralized chiller, okay, that uh, always been uh, installed in large building, large commercial uh, building, for example, uh, office building, okay, movie theater, factory, etc. So, HVAC, uh, this one is the um, picture for the uh, centralized chiller. Saya janji minggu ni kan nak bawa korang pergi tengok cila Tapi tu memang tak sempat saya minta maaf Memang tak sempat hari ni pun saya agak busy terkejar dengan meeting So esok uh, pun esok uh, for tomorrow class I think uh, better we uh, do face uh, not face to face lah uh, Online class at least one one hour Start uh, starting to PM Because at 3, 3, 3, 30, 3, 3, yeah. uh, I, I, I will get uh, a meeting with Vice Chancellor to present my proposal about the uh, Environment Center in UTEM. So I need, uh, yeah, uh, to apology with uh, all of you. So we're going to have at least one hour class tomorrow as the preparation for the midterm uh, test, okay? So special for midterm test tomorrow. Please come to the class. Okay, please come to the class. Online class, ah, huh? online class, not face to face. Don't go to uh, Dewan Kuliah uh, tomorrow, but online class. So we, we we will do the refreshment a little bit refreshment as the preparation for the test. Okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, uh, chiller compression have many types. For example, recycle uh, pro cating, screws, screwdriver, uh, centrifugal absorption. Okay, this one is the uh, types of the variety of the uh, machine. The chiller is a machine that remove heat from a liquid via a vapor compression or absorption refrigeration cycle. Okay. So chiller uh, comprise the four major components of the vapor compression, refrigeration cycle, compressor, evaporator, condenser, and some of form of metering device. So um, what you have seen in this picture is the chiller system. We call it as chiller system that consists of uh, two parts, which is the evaporation part and con uh, conditioner part or condenser part. Eh? 
okay, how to uh, measure the performance of the uh, killer. So this killer plant performance chart shows uh, have shown to us the COP. COP here or kilowatt per ton. Uh, COP, coefficient of performance. So if you got the seven value for the COP and the new, uh, this one is um, the excellent condition for the chiller. Okay, for example, new technology of all variable speed uh, chillers plan, for example, to use the uh, inverter touch of the chiller. So we get, get this one, excellent, uh, from uh, 5 to 7 or 0 0.7 or 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 for kilowatt per ton. So to measure the coefficient of performance is equal to output power over input power. It's like uh, you measure the motor efficiency. Okay, motor efficiency, get the measured uh, input or you get the rated one, okay, uh, uh, measured, measured uh, power over rated power. Okay, we get the uh, efficiency of the motor. So for this one, coefficient of performance for the killer output power over input power or you can get the calculation of the kilowatt per rt uh, kilowatt ton so if you got uh, 0 0.5 for example okay you can uh, uh, manage to uh, match the numbers to the cop1 for example 0 0.5 so for cop about 7.0 that one is excellent uh, killer performance and if you get 1.2, for example, kilowatt per ton, and uh, please match to the COP value here, at least you get about 2.9. And we know that this uh, killer plan needs some need, uh, improvement and must do something in order to maintain their performance of the uh, cooling capacity supply. So how to uh, measure the kilowatt per ton? This one is important. Okay, this one is important. Kilowatt per ton. So system performance coefficient of performance COP calculation method. AC heat rejection. So chiller water heat rejection. Um, I will suggest you to use method number two. Uh, we have three methods over here. And I will show you um, the um, very easy to use number two method. Huh? So to get the uh, four point over here, look at here. Basically, the uh, number one and number two is the same one, but in the different kind of pipe. Okay, you measure the different kind of pipe for the uh flow rate and temperature but this one number two you can uh, go uh, to the killer plant and get the flow rate for the total supply uh, the supply one uh in kg per second and get the temperature supply and uh, temperature return and temperature supply of the uh, water so 4.81 is the constant value And also, uh, you can use this one, okay? But uh, this one is quite complicated to use. If you need to get the value, for example, to get the value of wet bulb, saturation, or volume, okay? To get mesh all this value, the dry bar, to get mesh all this value, and you need to come up with the uh, right, value over here so you need to uh, get the value all the value for example uh, if you get this uh, point okay so you can match to uh, the refrigerant okay to get the value of uh, what's what's kind of the value that you can uh, go by using this psychometric chart and this one is depending on the 
type of the uh, icon. But this one is um, very easy to understand if you get, um, okay, for example, uh, the key water, key, key water supply about 7 degree and return, key water return about 11 degree, okay. Your um, Q, Q is the, um, this one is the flow rate, Q is the flow rate, flow rate of the water, Q water inside the pipe, okay. So for example, you got about 7 kg per second, okay, 7 kg per second for the flow of rate. Uh, water, Q water flow of rate inside the piping. So put the value here and put the value for 7 and uh, 11 and 7. Cuba kira ni berapa rapat dia punya uh, RT ni? Ni RT. And the uh, uh, measurement of the power in kilowatt. Eh? We measure the power of the chiller. For example, chiller, this one draw about 2000 kilowatt input. Okay. So what's the kilowatt per refrigerant, uh, refri, uh, kilowatt refrigerant and match to the COP. Kira dulu yang RT ni. Dapat berapa? So 4.18 4.18 Multiply with 7 Multiply 11 minus 7 Dapat berapa ni? 117 117 0 0.04 refrigerant ton. Okay, now come up with the uh, kilowatt per refrigerant ton. So 200 over 117. Dapat over. This one, kilowatt E, okay, bahagi dengan kilowatt refrigerant, kilowatt RT dia panggil. This one, kilowatt RT. So, got this one, berapa dapat 200 over 117? 1.71. 1.71. Okay, so we go and back to... Uh, 1.71, we go and back to this killer performance. 1.7, over here, 1.7. So, need improvement. Need improvement, ah, Need improvement. 1.7, need improvement. So, just now, okay, because we have a uh, temperature. So, how uh, one of the tip that uh, you need to maintain uh, as the engineer is on how we can set this one. So we got 11 and also 7. So delta T about 4, right? So that's good. 4 to 5 is the good delta T. And now uh, 7 here. So you need to get this value. Uh, this value. Uh, okay. This value. Multiply. So you need to got the uh, update or uh, remove the um, what we call it. You can set this one seven to ten, seven to ten. So got the supply uh, ten. Kira balik eh? Kira supply ten. Uh, uh, return supply seven. Maintain seven. And uh, return we set to ten. And we improve the flow of the water chill, a chill water 
to from 7 7 kg to 9 kg 9 kg per second kira balik if you can improve the flow of the water okay by uh, doing the maintenance for the compressed air okay do something for the bearing uh, improve something uh, for the chiller performance okay so you get 1.33 uh, kilowatt per refrigerant 1.33 betul kilowatt uh, RT dapat berapa Oh tadi RT 113 eh. Satu lima puluh. Okay. So one five oh. Two hundred over one five oh. So at least uh, some improvement have been done. If not, you need to get something like twenty kg per second. Uh, cuba 20 kg per second and then uh, try to simulate what's the uh, value okay what's uh, i will ask you about the what's the value of the rate of the chi water that need to be uh, achieved by the uh, supply or by the uh, chillers in order to get a better improvement of cop so how to what's the value of the uh, flow of uh, water here, flow rate here to get uh, at least 0 0.5. So, berapa? And we maintain the performance, the supply temperature and also return temperature about 7 to 10. So, berapa untuk dapat COP? Uh, Mathematik lah sikit. Zero point, at least 0 0.7 0 0.7 the cop equal to cop 5 and uh, ni this one kilowatt uh, per rt about 0, 0 0.7 so berapa uh, flow rate the value of uh, flow rate q equal to 20 eh? oh, saya teka je tadi dah kira lah Okay, so that, that's the way on how you can uh, simulate uh, the, the performance of killer by um, changing the flow rate value and also for the temperature. If you have uh, the optimum delta T, for example, uh, your killer um, supply uh, about 9 and return about 15. So the delta T is very huge number and you need to have a proper setting for the delta T. For example, to supply water 7 and return 10 or 11, you got the normal delta T about 3 to 5 and that's a good for the uh, efficient chiller. And you need to ensure that the value of the flow rate, uh, the flow rate running, uh, the supply Q uh, water is in a good flow. And it will maintain the performance of the chiller. Chiller's rating system. Okay, uh, this one uh, you can uh, compare. This one uh, from the uh, MS1. Okay. MS1525, you can refer to MS1525 to see on how, what's the value for the uh, good uh, COP and the value for the uh, maximum kilowatt E per RT. Okay, condenser temperature. All right, this one, we have uh, two kind of uh, parts, condenser and also evaporator. Chiller efficiency, normally chiller efficiency decrease at part load. Okay, chiller efficiency decrease um, when the load is 
is increase, decrease and increase. So if you got a lot of load to uh, supply the cooling capacity or cooling load, we have a, a very huge number of the cooling load and the chill efficiency will decrease. That, uh, that, that one is the proven by this graph. Lah. Percent of capacity is increased and also here, look at the numbers. Huh? Uh, this one is very efficient if the uh, load, the cooling load is lower. When we increase the cooling load huh, to, to the certain amount, percent, percent of capacity and we get the uh, chill efficiency decrease a part, at part load decrease at part load. Oh, that means that uh, if you got lower capacity percentage, uh, if you have lower capacity percentage, you will have the uh, lower COP, lower efficiency. Okay, uh, something like here. For example, now 15% of the load capacity, the percentage of capacity, that means you have a very low amount of, uh, amount of load. Uh, to uh, to to have the capacity and it will decrease the chill efficiency okay the best one is to have um, the cooling capacity uh, the percentage of capacity about 75 to 80 okay we have a better uh, kilowatt per ton or cop for the chill operation Chill water temperature reset. Okay, resetting higher temperature than normal design. That one uh, reduce power consumption by one to three percent. So about uh, six to seven supply the chill water temperature reset. So to supply uh, the chill water, second location is running chiller plant. Okay, the uh, key water types, huh? basically they will have the CT here, cooling tower, cooling tower, cooling tower, okay, cooling tower to supply condenser water to the chiller. This one chiller, we have condenser and evaporator, okay. So this is the process inside the chiller. Here, chiller. This one, uh, supply to the chiller, condenser water. Condenser water about 32 to 33 degree. And return to the condenser from chiller about 37. Because this uh, evaporator will... Um, uh, you know, uh, we have the heat inside uh, the water and the water, we, the, the temperature for the water will increase. So to cool, okay, to back uh, to the normal uh, water temp uh, temperature, so we need to go through the cooling tower. We call it as cooling tower, cooling tower, okay. The, and then back to the chiller to process the uh, chill water supply. The supply and return. So we have a supply, the temperature supply about seven to nine degree. Chill water supply, correct? Chill water supply. This one, chill water, condenser water uh, return, condenser water supply. So return from the building, from the ASU. Here is ASU inside the building, air handling unit. A handling unit. Okay, so return from the issue inside the building about uh, ten to fifteen or thirteen. Okay, twelve. So that's the process of a uh, chiller system. So from a issue, this a issue will turn. Uh, will uh, what we call it? We transform the key water, key water to the air side, air side or air cool to the room. Okay. So we have air supply and also air return to the issue. And 
inside the issue, you're going to have the uh, system that convert from the uh, cool uh, uh, well, chill water to the air. So that's the process of water type cooling system. Okay, so normally uh, this one is the process that I did mention and they explained uh, just now. Cooling tower. Okay, we start until here. Okay, uh, I need to go. Uh, I need to go because I have, um, I think, very important meeting uh, at three. Uh, I need to go. Apologies for the uh, very short time of the class for today. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. All right. Any question? Yes. Ah. Thank you. Tada. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Doctor. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Hari ini saya beraya dah ni. Ambil gambar. Ambil raya, Doctor. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Bye bye.